Next question from the brother here. I am Saktivel doing B.Tech in MIT. Sir, you are told that God told I can forgive any sin other than accepting a partner to me. To Islam only, they are praying Allah. Other than that, for Hindus that and all, we are not following Allah that and all. So, we are sinners in your point of view. The brother asked the question that Allah says he may forgive anything if he wants. Not that he will forgive. That doesn't mean that if you believe in Allah, you can do any sin. If he wants, he can forgive you. But the sin of shirk, he'll never forgive. Regarding other non-Muslims or worshipping anyone besides Allah. Allah means the true one God. You may call him by any name. Allah says in the Quran in Surah Isra, chapter 17, verse 110, Qulidullah Abidur Rahman. I am Atadu Falal Asma Husna. Say call upon him by Allah or by Rahman. By whichever name you call upon him, to him belong the most beautiful names. But the concept should be correct. He should not be begotten, he should be one. If you worship the true almighty God, whichever name you call, but it should be a good name. Correct concept, no problem. But if you worship thieves, if you associate partners, like if someone says Jesus Christ, peace be upon him, is God, we consider him to be a messenger of God. If you call him God, then not only a sinner, it is the biggest sin. According to the Quran, not according to me, according to the Quran, Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse 48, Surah Nisa, chapter 4, verse 116. Not only according to the Quran, even according to the Bible. Even according to the Bible, Almighty God says in the book of Deuteronomy, chapter number 5, verse number 7 to 9, Thou shalt not make image of Almighty God, it's a sin. Even according to Rig Veda, it's a sin. According to Yajur Veda, chapter 32, verse number 3, it's a sin. So not only the Quran says it's a sin, even the Hindu scripture says it's a sin. Suppose a Muslim says, I believe in Allah, and he starts worshipping Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Nauz Billah. Suppose a lunatic. He says, I believe in Allah, but he worships Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam and says, even he will not go to Jannah. Same way, if a Christian worships Jesus Christ, peace be upon him. Though the Bible says he should not be worshipped, your Vedas says he should not be worshipped. So according to your Vedas, you will be a sinner. According to Bhagavad Gita, you will be a sinner. According to the Upanishads, you will be a sinner. According to the Quran, you will be a sinner. According to the Bible, you will be a sinner. Hope that answers the question.